Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a luxury haul slash what I got for Christmas. It's not really a what I got for Christmas because all of these items I bought them for myself, but I feel like they've been on my wish list for quite some time or they are Christmas themed, so I feel like this also classifies as a what I got for Christmas. I have some beauty products that I would like to share first. I don't usually get into too much beauty stuff on my channel, but these items I'm actually very proud of, so I felt like sharing. Okay, so the first item that I'd like to share is something that I actually usually stand very strongly against because I don't believe in advent calendars, especially beauty advent calendars. If it's a chocolate advent calendar, I feel like I can go for it, but with beauty products, they just usually stuff them with samples. And I feel like, why should I pay for samples, you know, even if it's nicely packaged? It's just, it's never worth it for me. But Cult Beauty, I've heard rumors about their advent calendars that they are usually very good, but this year it was incredible. There were so many beauty products included that I had wanted to try for such a long time. And they were also, most of them, full size or travel size. This is how it looks on the outside. This is the work of my bunnies. So it was in perfect condition when it arrived. It's just that my bunnies really love carton. And it has this magnetic door closure and these removable little boxes. So if you have kids or I don't know, just want to refill these boxes with something else next year, you totally can. So that's really cool and go back sustainable. And now let me show you the products that excited me the most. The Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. And I've been on a hunt for a good mascara that is also cruelty free. And I feel like I hit the jackpot, the travel size of the Sol de Janeiro. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Bomb Dia Bright Cream. I have repurchased the Bomb Bomb Cream an infinite amount of times. It's my favorite body lotion, so I've been really curious about their other body creams. Another item that I really wanted to try is this Charlotte Tilbury Bigger Brighter Eyes Filter Eyeshadows. And coincidentally, the shades are the exact ones that I had on my wish list on Sephora. Then there's also the Inky List Polyglutamic Acid. I'm so bad, but yeah, this is not expensive, but it has such incredible reviews. So very excited to try this. The CEO Sunday Riley Vitamin C Serum, another serum that I've been wanting to try for the longest time. I'm a huge fan of Dr. Dennis Groth and like the, the peeling pad wipe things. I love them. They changed my life. That's my neighbor's dog, by the way. So let's just ignore that. And this is their Pore Perfecting and Refining Serum. The product that I'm probably most excited about is this Color Wow um, Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. And I struggle with frizz a lot because I have naturally curly, frizzy hair. So I really hope that this is going to change my life. I mean, as you can see, it was packed with good products. Also, this Medic Aid. Our Retino 8 Youth Activating Cream, also something I'm excited to try. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Chocolate, the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer, so much good stuff. So if you can still get it, get it. It's such a great advent calendar. I also got some goodies from Dior and this I got from the Dior website, but this I actually got from Sephora. And I first saw this on the Dior website, but it was sold out. And then I thought, I'll check Sephora, maybe they have it. And they did. And for some reason, it was two times less expensive. So this Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet set on Sephora, full price, no discounts. It costs something like 55 euros. And on the Dior website, it cost 110 euros and it was sold out. Why was it so much cheaper on Sephora? I have no idea. But okay, so what's included in this set, beautiful magnetic box. You have the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet Perfume, 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. And then there's the Dior Lip Glow. 
and also a little cute Miss Dior hand cream. I mean, all of this for 55 euros. I feel like only the perfume normally costs 55 euros. And on top of that, you get a full size lip balm. I think that individually this costs something like 30 euros and the set was 55. So basically got the perfume with a free lip balm and a free hand cream and cute packaging. So this was a really good deal. Okay, and on the Dior website, I feel like this is my... Okay, this is stuck here. No, I broke it. Look, I broke it. It was so pretty. Well, at least you guys saw how pretty it was. Let me show you how nicely it was packaged. So here we have the seasonal Dior drawstring bag, which is cool. And then on the inside, this is the item that I purchased. And this is the Dior Ambre Nude, again, my pronunciation, candle. I love the scent of this. I've never had a candle in this scent, so very excited to try it. And then, of course, when you buy from the Dior website, you also get a lot of samples. Here in this cute little white dust bag, there are two of the Privé samples, Gris Dior and Oud Ispan. And also these two mini samples and a sample of the Dior Prestige serum. So that's cool. And if that wasn't enough, there is also a little Dior box in which we have a velvet makeup bag. I feel like I say this every year, but if you're looking for a gift under a hundred euros, this makes such a lovely gift, like the wrapping, the value, all the little additional minis. It's just so cool. So personally, if I received it, I would be so happy. Okay, so I think that I'm done with the beauty items and now it's time to get serious. Okay, so the first item that I wanted to share is something that I picked up from Farfetch. It arrived in this envelope. I had never received anything from Farfetch in an envelope. Maybe it's something new that they're trying out. I don't know. Have you ever received something from Farfetch in an envelope? Let me know in the comment section below. But the item that I ordered is this hoodie by Anine Bing. I love these hoodies. I already have one. It's in navy blue with white letters. And this one is in gray marl with black letters. I actually thought that they were navy blue. Doesn't it look kind of navy blue? Like a very, very dark navy blue? Okay, maybe there's something wrong with my eyes because now that I'm looking at it, the letters are clearly black. Anyway, I just wanted to give my other hoodie some rest and so I got this one. Next up, I have some goodies that I picked up from Matches Fashion. And these items, actually, if you saw my Tanzania vlog, you may have already noticed them. So these are items that I bought specifically for my holiday, but I feel like they will also be timeless pieces. Okay, so the first item that I got is this swimsuit by Hansa G. And this year I have been obsessed with Hansa G. Their swimsuits are so comfortable and they look so cool. I don't know what it is about this material, but it's just, it's simply magical. And this is the domino style because it has these like loops that are made of, I don't know, what is this plastic resin? No clue, but it looks really nice. And I also love that this material, this particular color, it has this like sheen to it. It's like glistening, do you see? There's a bit of shine to it. I mean, how cool. It's not like it's something that you're going to see when you take pictures in it, but the attention to detail is really cool. And the other item that you may have already seen in my vlog is something from Dior. And it's something that I said I will never buy because I thought that it's something that is totally unflattering. But then I thought about the practical side of it and I just realized how much I needed something like it. So the item that I am talking about is this Dior Visor. I hated these, like I really didn't like them. But this is so practical because I love to go to the beach with a bun. And if I have a hat, that bun is always in the way. 
but with the visor i know i know i sound ridiculous like i just discovered visors but that's because basically i did i just discovered the practicality of a visor and this one is so comfy it has this like cushiony little thing you can make it tighter or looser depending on your personal preferences and it also has christian dior embossed on the strap and then it also says christian dior over here and of course on the front of it it also says christian dior paris i got the black on black version just because i'm boring but these come in so many different colorways and i enjoyed using it every time it's just made my life so much easier because i can always go anywhere with a bun and have that extra protection from the sun because the sun it's aging me quickly you know so this is a really good purchase probably one of my favorite purchases this year now we're coming close to the finale because the look at this massive box from matches fashion and this is a huge wish list item i have wanted this item for years and years and years i've had dupes of this item and i can't believe that i finally got it so maybe you guys remember if you've subscribed to me for some time you may remember that last year i bought the max mara icon coat and it's one of my best purchases ever i love that coat i love the quality of that coat i love the fit of that coat i love absolutely everything so after i got that coat i made myself a promise that every year i'm going to try to buy one max mara coat so this year i got myself a new max mara coat but it's in a different style based on my style and my sense of fashion i feel like you guys can already guess what it is so i don't think we can do this this way because this box is just absolutely massive but let me just try to do a reveal here we go it is the max mara teddy coat in this beautiful beautiful bluish caracal gray color okay now let me take it out because this is really heavy okay so now you should be able to see just a little bit better i don't think i'll be able to show the full length of it but i mean you know you know the code that i'm talking about and it is gorgeous i am obsessed with the style of it with this color it is so beautiful and it feels I could just, I could literally just sleep in it. It's so soft. I love it. I love it so much. I know that teddy coats get a lot of hate and I get it because there are so many bad quality teddy coats out there, but the OG, the fit of the OG teddy coat is so good. And I feel like this coat, it feels a gap in the coat world because we have either very smart sophisticated looking coats or we have parkas there is nothing really in between and this is the perfect in between when you don't want to look too sophisticated and you don't want to look too casual this is just this is perfect for such occasion so i'm so happy right now i'm so happy that i have it it is an investment though i bought it with a discount code and even with a discount code i was still biting my fingers like do i really need this do i really need this i live in spain why am i buying a coat like that but truth is right now it's very cold in here so i'm kind of glad that i have it just in case for the very very cold days and i feel like this is something that i'll be wearing until the end of my days so very very much in love with this coat and now for the grand finale i have a double chanel unboxing it truly feels like christmas in here and these items were very much planned I knew that if they're going to be available at the boutique, I am going to get them. It's not a bag because even though I liked some of the bags, I like them a lot, especially the vanity bag 
and like the CC chain bag, the mini flap bag with CC chain. So beautiful. My friend actually bought it and I was so jelly, but you know, like positively jelly because for me, it just felt like it's too similar to my small caviar classic flap. It just, it wasn't different enough, you know? So I thought, I'll just prioritize some of my other bags. But I did pick up some really good stuff. And first up, let's start with this teeny tiny little box. Okay, so in this little box, there is something that I promised myself I would never buy again from Chanel. And the item category is costume jewelry. I have been so disappointed with the quality of Chanel's costume jewelry that I was like, I am not going to buy it ever again unless they are going to have two specific items and what do you know they released one of the items that was on my wish list so let me show you here we have the packaging it says chanel over here okay and for the reveal it is a pair of earrings the most beautiful chanel earrings I've ever seen. Well, at least this style of Chanel earrings, I absolutely adore. Three, two, one. So classic, timeless, gorgeous, vintage inspired. Absolutely love them. How beautiful. They are super simple, but they are the perfect size the perfect color combination, black and gold. Do you see it? Black and gold. I mean, they're just absolutely stunning. I have to put them in my ears. I have to show you. Okay, so the earrings are in and for some reason my ear looks a little bit red. I don't know why. Let's ignore that, but look at the earrings. Look how good they would look with like a high ponytail or like a classic bun. I mean, so good. So so, so good. Such beautiful, vintage-inspired, classic style. And that's the thing I love about them the most because it almost looks like they're vintage and yet they don't cost the price of vintage Chanel costume jewelry. Absolutely love these. And now for the second unboxing, this is probably not going to be a surprise to anyone. The one thing that I can promise though is that this is not that sandals. I think that, I think I'm settled with the that sandals, but this is something that I saw on the runway and I was like, I need it. I need it in my life. So let's open it. Okay, so as you can probably see from the box, it is a pair of shoes. And now let me take a little sneak peek so that I can see if they are in their dust bags. Yes, they're in their dust bags. Okay, let's do a proper reveal. Okay, guys, would you like to take a guess? I got the viral Chanel silver sneakers. They're so beautiful. They are so beautiful. These are also officially the most expensive sneakers I have ever purchased in my lifetime, but I could not not buy them. They are so cool. And you guys know that I'm a sneaker girl through and through. I love a good pair of sneakers and I feel like this is just the perfect sneaker. Silver. I am not usually a silver girl, but I have been looking at some silver bags. For some reason, I became obsessed with silver bags. I haven't found one that is just right yet, but I thought that when I do, these are going to pair perfectly with that one perfect bag. I love that silver is having a moment right now, but I feel like even when the silver trend is going to be out, they are still going to be timeless because there's not too much going on. They are very simple, very clean, neat design, but also very Chanel. So we have the Chanel CCs over here. Then it says Chanel over here. And of course, Chanel also over here. And then there are the Chanel CCs on the sole as well. I mean, they're just gorgeous. They are 
absolutely beautiful. They are also very, very comfortable. They do have a little bit of weight to them. They are not like super, super lightweight, but they are also not very heavy. So they are perfect. Chanel shoe sizing is very tricky. Well, at least for me, because I have shoes from Chanel that are a size 40, I have shoes from Chanel that are a size 40 and a half, and then I have shoes from Chanel that are size 41, which is my true Chanel size. I have no idea. Normally, at like high street brands like Zara, I am a size 40. With Dior, I am always size 40. But with Chanel, it could be anything. These, however, only run in full sizes. So first I tried on size 40, which is my usual size, and they fit like a glove. So with this particular pair, I would recommend taking your usual size, or if you're in between sizes, go the next size down. So I would say that probably, most likely, with Chanel, I am a size 40 and a half, and with these, 40 fits me perfectly. But sizing issues aside, I am really happy with this purchase and I just can't wait to style them. That's how I know that it's true love. Okay, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do love talking about fashion. So let's stay in touch and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Stay safe.